I have done very little to help this project along. Aside from being very enthused and excited about it, I, I have had the privilege of interacting with Dr. Lesko and some of the other scientists, and that was uh, a little over my head, but uh, uh, rewarding nonetheless. I just want to say uh, thank you to a number of people. Again, some of it will echo what the governor has said. I'm excited about uh, the work I know that will go forward in terms of uh, what will happen at the congressional level. I know Senator Thune, Senator Johnson, and Representative Herseth Salmon are going to work hard to translate this choice into funding for projects that will make the mine come alive. I'm excited about that and grateful for the work I know they've done already and will continue to do. I'm uh, grateful to Dave Bose for his business sense and his thinking about how we could uh, think of the 4850 level as a way to bridge the distance between what might be, at the end of the day, a diesel at the uh, deepest levels, but what could be sooner at here at Homestake than it could be elsewhere. I think that gave us a leg up. So thanks, Dave, for your good thinking. Uh, I also want to thank Dr. Lesko because he really did lead a consortium of scientists from a diverse background, many different kinds of science, and uh, led it in such a way that his winsome personality uh, convinced the uh, National Science Foundation that not only was he a brilliant scientist, but he was also a good guy. And, and everyone likes to deal with people that are good guys. And I hope when he comes up here, he will tell us, tell all of you, about the phone call that he received earlier today, because I think we enjoyed hearing the detail, and I know you will too, so don't let him sit down without telling you that. Um, of course, Jenny Sanford, wow, what a guy, what a great guy. Uh, if I played a tiny, tiny part in helping Homestake along, I will take credit for introducing Governor Rounds to Denny Sanford and sticking them with one another for about four hours on a golf course for uh, a couple of hot Sundays or Mondays and uh, the relationship that evolved and the mutual trust and respect that evolved from that I think had something to do with Denny's willingness to invest in uh, Mike Brown's ideas and vision for what Homestake could be. Uh, one more person I want to talk about and I'll conclude with a, a, a story. Uh, the last guy I want to thank, and I think we all owe a great deal of thanks to, is Mike Rounds. Because uh, I think we all know that when Mike Rounds took office, uh, Governor Janko had done a lot to try and position Homestake as a place that could be the deep underground science and engineering laboratory. But the liability questions had become insurmountable. And Homestake really was uh, not looking good. It was not looking good. And Mike's determination and creativity, Governor Rounds' determination and creativity, I think uh, persevered. And uh, as Calvin Coolidge says, uh, perseverance and determination are omnipotent. And he was and is. And thanks to him and his uh, determination, uh, Homestake is a reality. The last thing is the story. Uh, as we were uh, landing in Spearfish, uh, my uh, Blackberry vibrated and I looked at it and it was my son Christopher who's uh, a student at SDSU and he's working in Brookings this summer and his question to me was will the home state news conference be webcast and I said I replied back that I think that it wasn't and his reply was bummer <laughs> <laughs> but what that reminded me and that what should remind all of us today is that I am so excited, not just for us, but for our kids and for our grandkids, because this will provide, in South Dakota, cutting edge science and technology that will thrill them, that will excite them, and that will keep them here with us. And boy, I don't know about you, but I want my kids here with us. So thanks to all of you, and what a great day.